Before we get into today's video, I wanted to announce that I'll be giving away this poster, which is one of my favorites on my wall. I have a spare of it that I wanted to give away to you guys, so all you have to do to enter is be a follower on Twitter. If you're interested, the link will be in the description below. Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Slickmoff, and I'm back again with another video, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about my favorite comic book character of all time, and that is Barbara Gordon and her involvement in Batman v Superman, if she is in it at all. It has been speculated on for months and months now who Jenna Malone is going to be playing. At first, people thought it was going to be Carrie Kelly, who is one of the female Robins. Now, since June 30th, when the Latino Review came out with some additional information, that suggests that she is going to be playing Barbara Gordon, who, of course, was once Batgirl and then was crippled by the Joker in the Killing Joke 1988 comic and is potentially probably one of the best computer whizzes in the DC universe. So she's a very prevalent character, especially to Batman mythos. What's interesting about this cast is that it is possible that she is still Batgirl. And you may think that that is not the case because of her age. She's only 31 and I would argue that she looks younger than that. This is kind of the example with Emily Kenny who played Beth, an 18 year old, and she was 28. I see Jenna Malone, I don't see a 31 year old or 29, somewhere in that range. She could very well pass as a 21 year old to me personally so but beyond that Batgirl is Barbara Gordon in the new 52 not Cassandra Kane or any other character in which they've been in the past so they went with Batgirl in the new 52 and that is important because this DCEU is drawing heavily from the new 52 pretty much every character interpretation you can see is loosely based off the new 52 origin and you can also see some even more direct affiliations to the new 52 for example every single member in the new 52 Justice League is in the DCEU Justice League as well, so it's pretty much a carbon copy. The only exception to this is Shazam, who's kind of in and out of the Justice League, and Jeff Johns hinted that there's going to be eight Justice League members in the new DCEU, and that's probably going to be the eighth member, and that is Shazam. Which breaks my heart, because I really wanted my boy Martian Manhunter in there, which, again, breaks my heart, but I really think that he'll make an appearance, whether it be 2019 or 2020, I think he's going to show up at some point. Keeping on with the fact that this new DCEU is drawing very heavily from the new 52, and she is not Oracle in the new 52, she is indeed Batgirl, so I think that Barbara Gordon has a very high probability of occurring as Batgirl, which I think is something that nobody would expect. And I'm not saying that she is for sure. I think it's definitely 50-50, but you got to keep it at it. They're drawing so heavily from the New 52. Almost everything without flaw. Even Harley Quinn's origin is New 52. So this is really the New 52 extended universe, so to speak. Continuing on with the Barbara Gordon as Batgirl theory, I very well could see the Bat Vigilante that Clark is referring to when he's speaking to Bruce actually be being Batgirl, not Batman, because if you think about it, that party occurs on very early in the movie, and at that point, he had not even met Clark or Superman before then, and at that point, he doesn't even know who he is, so it doesn't really make sense for him to be, you know, lifting weights, trying to get back into shape, and he hasn't really acknowledged the threat yet. But at the same time, I'm sure in the Daily Planet, he's seen, you know, Superman, and he's actually gearing up to fight him, but it may not have just crossed him at that point that Clark Kent is indeed Superman. At that point, it would be very strange that the world's greatest detective or the DC Universe's greatest detective has not recognized that Superman is Clark Kent because they look exactly identical and they don't really try to hide it in any way, at least not in this DCEU. I'm just saying, by this point in the movie, Bruce better recognize that Clark, as soon as he sees him, that is Superman. He's the greatest greatest detective in the world, and if he can't recognize that that is Superman, then he's not a very good detective. So guys, I gotta say, what do you think about the Bat Vigilante being Batgirl? I would just love to see a scene where Batgirl is branding the guy in the trailer that we think is Batman, but by that point, Bruce Wayne's still gearing up to become the Batman. What if Batman's gearing up to fight Batgirl because he doesn't know who she is yet? There's so many different theories that I have, and they're probably all wrong, but I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section below. I gotta say, I love Jenna Malone's cast as Barbara Gordon. If she is Barbara Gordon, again, we don't even know if that's the case. She's not, you know, Robin. Robin is like 13, 14 in the books. She's not Robin, okay? She's Barbara Gordon, that's most likely. There's certainly some other characters in Superman side of things that she could be. However, she's got the red hair going for her. I think she fits the role pretty well. If she is Barbara Gordon, I think she's a great fit. She's a great cast. She kind of has that innocence to her, but also a little bit of, of veracity behind there as well. So I think that she's a great pick. I hope we get to see her in March as Batgirl, maybe Oracle, I'd be perfectly okay with. I'm not going to riot in the streets if it's not Batgirl, although I would love to see her as either one. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. What do you think about Jenna Malone being Barbara Gordon, Batgirl, Oracle, whatever you'd like to think about it? Let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to follow me on Twitter to be entered in that giveaway to receive the poster. It's just a little giveaway. I thought a little little bit of a sub fan service. I hate the word fan, but you know, subscriber service, whatever you like to call it. I don't want to gain, you know, like any subs from it or anything. It's just I had an extra poster. I wanted to give it away. All you have to do is follow me on Twitter. So hope you guys have. 
time enjoyed the video. And if you did, again, feel free to like button. My name is Slickmoff, and we will see you in the next video.